Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, this is Carl from lunchboxsessions.com. In Directional Control Valve Basics Part 1, we covered the Close Center and Float Center Directional Valve. In this Part 2 video, we will examine what is commonly known as a Tandem Center and also an open center directional valve. Unlike the closed center and float center, which featured a blocked P port when the valve was in neutral, the tandem and open center valves circulate the pump's flow back to tank at neutral. Let's start with the tandem center valve. In the symbol, P is shown connected to T while the A and B work ports are blocked. Looking at the cutaway, we see that the A and B work ports are indeed blocked in the spool undercuts and that cylinder position holding is possible. P is connected to T via a drilled and bored valve spool. The pump's flow enters in to the valve spool via the drilling at the P port and moves equally along the valve spool in both directions and exits through the two drillings on either end of the spool to connect to tank. Now let's switch to the open center valve. Notice in the symbol that all ports are shown connected together when the valve is in neutral. Moving to the cutaway, we see that the lands on the spool have been machined back so far that they do not cover any ports while in the center or neutral position. To achieve cylinder motion, the valve spool must be moved all the way to the left or the right in order to direct the pump's flow to the A or B work port. While it is clear that this open center valve does not provide any position holding for the cylinder, both the open and tandem center valve unload the pump when returned to center. In so doing, a simple fixed displacement pump can be used without passing flow over the relief valve when the system is in neutral. Heating and energy draw is thus minimized. Here's a tip. It is not important to memorize the common names for these valve centers such as float or tandem or open. If you are working with a hydraulic component vendor or a customer that has hydraulic machines, simply referring to which ports are connected together and which ports are blocked at the center position is usually more than adequate and often the more accurate way to communicate. In this example, we would say P to T connected while A and B work ports blocked. That's all for this time. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.